This is where the search for Miles Sanderson ended. RCMP forced the accused killer off the highway south of Rostern. Sanderson was driving a white avalanche truck he'd stolen earlier in the day. This rural property is where Sanderson stole the truck. We spoke to the son of the widowed grandmother who lives alone here. We're not identifying the family because the woman is a victim of an alleged crime. It was about two in the afternoon when the woman spotted Miles Sanderson in her yard with a knife. Now she says that she ran into her bedroom and then the bathroom, locking doors behind her. Sanderson broke into the house and then forced his way through those two doors. Once in the bathroom, he took the woman's cell phone from her but said that he wasn't going to hurt her. Instead, he said that he needed something to drink, a phone and keys to a vehicle. She says that he then went to the fridge and took a can of pop and some bottled water, then took her cigarettes and lighter and cell phone and then the keys to the white avalanche truck. He then told her that he wanted her to come to Waka with him and that he would let her out of the vehicle there, but she was terrified that he was going to kill her and she refused, so he left. Now what Sanderson didn't know is that the woman had a landline. As soon as he was gone, she called a relative who called RCMP, who then issued the emergency alert to be on the lookout for the white avalanche within an hour. Miles Sanderson was arrested near Rostern, about 50 kilometers away from the farm, at 3.30 in the afternoon. Dan Zakreski, CBC News, Saskatoon.